So for the lab that you're going to be doing, a lab on food energy, I'm going to run through the basic setup and technique, and you'll be able to hopefully duplicate this when you come into lab. Don't forget, most important thing, wear your safety goggles. We ready? Let's take a look at what we're using. So here's our setup. We have a soda can suspended by a glass rod in a an iron ring, ring stand, and underneath that we have this cork with a paper clip. That is going to be our food support unit. Okay? So the process is pretty straightforward. We're going to start by measuring 200 milliliters of water into our can. That's 200 in the can. Now we want to use a thermometer to figure out its temperature. So we'll set the thermometer in the temperature. While, while that thermometer is taking the temperature, we're going to get the mass of our piece of food. We're using Fritos. We're going to take the mass of the Frito before we do anything to it, and we're going to put it on the food support frame. Once we have our initial temperature of the water, we're going to leave the thermometer in there. We're going to light a wooden splint, and we're going to light the Frito and let it burn underneath the can. you'll notice that the can is only about two centimeters above the Frito. And we want to catch as much heat in the water as possible. We'll let the Frito burn until it burns itself out. Shouldn't take very long. Once the Frito has burned itself out, we need to measure the temperature of the water at its highest point. So we can stir it a little bit with the thermometer and we read the temperature when it reaches its highest point. That'll be our final temperature. The last thing we need to do is to take the residue that's left over and weigh it again. That's all there is to it. You'll want to do this one a couple of times to make sure that you get consistent results. But there's not much more to it than that. Good luck.